in to craft some coffee with Chris and Kel. I'm Chris. I'm Kel. And we back. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I'm too predictable. We're back. And we're back. So this is our whip and chat and we never really explain what whip and chat is. So if there's anyone new, a whip, it stands for work in progress, W I P. And we will be chatting while working on our whips. This is a, we're kind of like pretending or not pretending, but <laughs> I guess we're just kind of going to take it back to as if this was our first episode. Uh, we're going to talk about why we started, how we started, who we are, in case we have new followers or subscribers who haven't seen our very first or our first few videos. And that was, uh, that was a year ago. A mess. <laughs> so we've learned a lot. <laughs> we're still learning. Let's talk about what we're working on first. I'm working at Life is What You Bake It by Lillian Val from Diamond Art Club. And um, I have my Muni Made tray, my uh, pen from Lori, one fun diamond painter, um, and my Nacho Mama's mud, and all the things. And, what we... and, and our cover minder from Jenny. Um, oh, snap. From, oh, snap. Uh, Crafters, Crafters Cafe. Cafe. <laughs> I can't think. Um, um, the Uncrafty Crafter. And um, yeah, go ahead. Your turn. Uh, this is Colorful Lady by DP with Sparklers. I have my Munimade trays. I have my Bella Art Day Nicole tray. Uh, my pen from Lori, One Fun Diamond Painter. My um, cover minder in Snap from Jenny. And um, I, I'm using my Quake Cold Gel. Um, I like it. You know, it's um, looks like that. I like it. And, I like using that. And, um... Everything that we mention in our videos, we really try to link in the description box. So if you're interested in any of the things that we're talking about, uh, the link should be below. Yeah. Or using, yeah. yeah. It should be linked below. Yeah. So we are almost coming up to our one year anniversary. Actually, when you guys see this, we'll um, have we will have passed, passed our one year. Woo! Congratulations, we're one years old. Yay! <laughs> uh, we are almost at 400 subscribers. Yes. Um, I know to some it may not be a big deal that we have almost 400, but for us it's good. I mean, we're not everyone's cup of tea, and we've gotten some feedback that people don't like listening to two people have a discussion, and that's fine. That's totally up to you. Um, but we're having a lot of fun, and we're meeting a lot of fun people, and... Uh, we're enjoying ourselves, so. Yeah, this is an amazing community. I haven't come across, you know, very, very many, you know, unhappy, you know, mean, yeah. you know, people. It's, we There's all. just one mean person. <laughs> <laughs> we all do this because we love it and we try to uplift each other and you know, it's really a bonding experience, you know, doing what you love and listening to someone talk. And that's what, you know, we, or I experienced, um, at the retreat we went to. I'm Cal, by the way. Hey, I'm Cal. <laughs> I should have said, wait, who this? <laughs> who this? <laughs> that's our little tag, tagline. Anyway. All right. So let's take it back to how we started. Go ahead, Kel. Well, first of all, um, I started diamond painting first. Um, I talked to Chris about it a couple times and I finally got her on board. I bought her a little diamond dots kit from the craft store and I said, she didn't want to do it right at that moment, but I said, just try it, you know, just try it. That's, just try it. And what she did, it was over <laughs> and she knew it that's why she made me try it because she knew once I tried it I would be sold I mean I just know that diamond painting has helped you know my mental health and it gives me something to look forward to every day and I feel that I'm accomplishing something I'm making something you know 
I'm leaving behind something, you know, for right. my family, you know, whether they appreciate it or not. <laughs> You're going to die and they're going to be like, damn, what do we do with all this now? I know. <laughs> there are 1,500 diamond paintings to split up again among six people. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah. I just, I'm addicted to the craft and I can't get enough. And... I love the structure of it. I love that I can zone out and not, you know, think too much. Yeah. But then other times, other canvases, you know, you can switch things out and bling out and you can, right. you can, you can become more creative, I guess. For and, sure. and color outside of the lines, if you will, you know. Yeah. What Everything you saying? said. <laughs> that's that's what she loves about it. And about how we started the channel. Yeah. So then she got me hooked. And she had made a comment about her daughter said, why don't you start a channel, mom? But uh, she was like, I don't want to. I'm too shy. I don't want to do that all by myself. And, you know. Yeah. And so. I'm like, what am I going to talk about? And who cares what I say? I mean. Right. Who is going to care about my opinions or my views? Or, and right. I'm not, believe it or not, like, I'm not like a chatty Kathy. Like, I don't yeah. just sit and talk to hear my own voice. No. So I was like, I can't imagine having a channel by myself. And trying to think of things to talk into the air about, basically. Yeah. So I was thinking to my just by myself. She had gone home, and I was like, you know, after watching people on their channels, and I just got to thinking, like, we can do. Why don't we do it together? I haven't seen anybody have two people, you know, in the same room, mm -hmm. diamond painting. And so I thought, well, maybe that could be our little niche, you know. Yeah. So I proposed it, and she said, oh, my gosh, yeah, 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 let's try it. So we came up with our logo, and uh, that was about it. We just started. Yep. We hit the pavement and um, did some research, you know, watched what other people did and learned, you know, what do we want to do like them? What do we want to do not like them? Right. You know, um because you can't just flat out copy someone and then call it your own, you know. But we are definitely inspired by others. Um, For sure. On a, on a daily basis. Um, and I think the way we've been operating our channel too is we forget there's new people out there. You know, we yes. assume that people know how to diamond paint and know what a whip and chat is. And... So this anniversary just makes us take a step back and remember what it's like when we were first starting. And, right. And just like finding our way as we went, really. For sure. Yeah. So um, I'm Chris and I'm the oldest. Uh, I'm 47. I have three daughters. I have two granddaughters. I am divorced, but I have a boyfriend of four and a half years. Um, our mother just came to live with us recently, a few months ago, from Ooh. Texas. We're sisters, by the way. Yeah, we're sisters. <laughs> um, and I work in a hospital. I'm a surgical tech, and I work nights. Um, you yeah, love I love your in, puppies. I have four dogs and I love them. There are three pit bulls and one little seven pound mutt who runs the show. <laughs> um, what else? I li we live in Southern California and that's about it, right? Yeah, so that's about it. That's me. That's you. That's me. Oh, you're a vegan, right? No, I'm vegetarian. Oh, I, I, I did vegan for a while. It's very hard. Uh, so I'm a vegetarian. Oh, okay. I've been a vegetarian since 2017, January of 2017. Wow. And your likes and dislikes, TV shows. Okay, um... all I do is true crime. I'm like, <laughs> I'll, I, my boyfriend just looks at me and walks away, shakes his head because <laughs> every time he comes out, he'll be like, "What are you watching?" 
oh, I, I started, oh, it's a show about uh, roommates that kill each other. And he just looked and he just walked away. I was like, what? Like, you know, this is my genre. I think people that are into true crime worry that we're planning know, right? something. No, <laughs> I just, I don't know why. I just, I, you know, I'm, there are TV shows I watch. I watch Dexter. I watch, um, um. I'm watching High Town right now on Stars. Um, there's not a lot out right now, but yeah. uh, Handmaid's Tale. You know all the yeah. classics. I watch all of those too. Um, but for the most part, I watch documentaries. I watch YouTube. Um, I watch True Crime, and that's about it. I'm really. I don't even really listen to music anymore. I listen to podcasts, mm -hmm. books. Um, I am officially old. <laughs> I'm officially old. I can't tell you who the new artists are. I don't listen to music, today's music. I swear I'd never be that when I became it. I think it. all people swear they're never going to be old, right? and then they do. I was like, no, I'm not going to. But you know what? And if I we're lucky. It, if my kids still lived with me, I would not be like this. Mm. But because they don't, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. You know what, though? I just stopped caring. Like, why do I need to know... And be up on the latest freaking trends. I mean, if I well, not the trends. We don't follow trends. Well, we don't care about clothes no. and shoes and all that. No, but there's more the to music. trends than just clothes. Yeah, but I swore I'm a music huge music lover, and I swore I would never let it go. But anyway, I'm officially old. Anyway, go. You're, then this is Kel. She's. I'm two years younger than Chris. That makes her 45. Stop it! She doesn't like saying the number, guys, so oh I had to say it for her. Oh, my gosh. I just <laughs> turned 45 two months ago. Um, I'm married. I've been with my husband basically since I was 15. So we're we're hitting our... Um, 30 years? Yeah, 30 Holy years. Holy crap. Yep, next year. Oh, wow. Yep, met him in 92. Hey. Yeah, met him in 1992. I was a freshman in in high school. Wow. Uh, we have two children, 21 and 23 years old. No they, grandkids. No grandkids yet. Knock on wood. <laughs> um, they still live with us. Um, they both work. They have their own vehicles. They're independent, other than you know living at home. Um, did I say a son and daughter? No. A son and daughter. My daughter's older. Um, they're great kids. I'm very proud of them. I love them so much. Yeah, they're great kids. Um, I have three cats. I'm an old cat lady. At one time I had six cats, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> um, I live about an hour east of Chris mm -hmm. and I drive over to her house and we film here but you know I was thinking you should probably come over and we could film over there one day yeah if you just want to get away for the day yeah and, for sure and you know to do that I I think the sound is better here for some reason but maybe if we record with your phone it'll be decent yeah we can try it I um, just I the only reason I haven't is because it's the weekend and I don't know if everybody's off work and gonna be in the house you know my your house? house yeah oh okay yeah well i'll banish them okay banish them to their room like i do my people here right like you know what time it is quiet on the set exactly <laughs> i always say that i tell the dogs that and they just look at me crazy <laughs> um i'm currently working as a bookkeeper and an assistant for a landscaping designer she also does interior design so I've been doing that for her, I think I've been with her for two years, but I've only been her assistant for probably six, six to nine months. It's been interesting. I've been learning a lot more. Um, so yeah, um, what else? What else about me? I like true crime like Chris. Um, I like to read, but I prioritize other things ahead of reading. I do have Audible, but I just, I go through stages where I'm all about something and then I'm <laughs> like, like yeah. I'll read the heck out of it and then I'll be watching YouTube all the time. And then I get overstimulated yeah. by YouTube with all the talking. So then yes. I'll go to my audiobook, which is, you know, a different vibe and... Um, 
sweat house, sweat house. Um, I buy all the things. <laughs> I buy all the sparklers and all the ABs and she really does. Um, and all the trays. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of trays now. So, um, yeah. And so we get together, you know, once or twice a month and bulk record and go from there. Yeah. I can't, I'm looking forward to going live because we need a thousand subscribers to go live with you two. <laughs> It'll be a while. <laughs> It'll be another three years, folks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be celebrating our five year anniversary with the, our first live. live. <laughs> but you know, the thing about it live is you're interacting with the yes. viewers in real time. We can answer questions, talk about topics that you care about. So the more lives I watch, I, I really get how fun it is to interact with the creator. Yeah. And, um, you know, we've talked about doing it through StreamYard. I know it's possible. We just haven't invested enough time and yeah. energy to do that. And maybe maybe we will record a video um, through StreamYard, but not live. You know, we'll, Chris will be at her house. I'll be at mine. And then we could do a split screen and try it. Yeah. I, I really want to try it. I think it would be fun. Yeah. Um, that. And that way, you know, like... If we're short on videos and I don't or can't drive out an yeah. hour each way, then right. we can just jump on and record a couple videos with the split screen. So Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, so that's something I want um, to learn how to do. Anything that you want for our channel in the next year since we're a year old? Anything growth-wise in the next year that you'd like to accomplish? or Um... Well, I mean, we are now a part of an event, so that was something that I wanted to do. Um, a collab. Yeah, do a, maybe do a collab with somebody, like one-on-one. -on -one. That could be the no, something we can do in the next year. Yeah. Um, or maybe even with more than one person, but yeah, like yeah. But we're like, doing a we're in the involved in the Christmas one now right. on so. Instagram though. Oh, but that's Instagram. You're yeah, right. you're right. We so haven't we, done a we YouTube. We do need to do collab. a YouTube. Yeah. So. That would be fun. Um, I don't know. Maybe just get into other kind of crafts. Like I am going to be painting some stuff and maybe I'll show that. Ooh, um, yeah. We're going to be doing more cross stitch. We're going to so, be doing cross stitch. You know, yeah. I mean, we could try a floss tube video. Yeah, we could. You know, um, I I'm don't gonna... know if our viewers will appreciate it, but maybe yeah. others would. Uh, my mom and I are going to be starting a blanket we went and bought yarn and pattern and and um some animals a uh, book about the animals to how to make those animals Yay! crocheted animals um, say animals more <laughs> animal, animal. <laughs> um so i'm gonna try that so maybe just try some different crafts you know i mean okay. we're still gonna be mostly diamond painting but we could try some new stuff yeah that would be fun um what was I thinking? I was thinking of something that I want to do. Oh, so I think in the in the very near future we should talk about maybe some events in the new year that we're going to be doing. Okay. Um, so we participate in events, but we haven't hosted per se. But um, there is a Google. Uh, doc or google spreadsheet with the 2022 events that's out there and i will post it below this video um i did not create it and the person that did should get props but i don't have that information on me well i could get it okay so the person who makes this um event list for 2022 is at mr and mrs doobie underscore diamond paint so that's on instagram but i'll post the her their link tree um what do you call it link tree link i guess 
and that'll take you to 2021 event list, 2022, and then their YouTube page. Okay. So I, I follow, you know, it's good to have a place to go to to see all the events coming up. Yeah. Definitely. So, and you just participate by working on the specified canvas that they want and maybe watch their YouTube video, whoever the creator or whoever the collaboration is with, you watch their videos and comment and just, just follow along with what they tell you to do. But it's just, it's fun to be working on something that's similar in nature to other people. And then like using the hashtag, you can search and see what other people have been working on for that specific event, so. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I feel like I went off and made a left somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but going back to our year in review. Oh, the other thing we're going to have coming up before the end of the year is we are going to show all of the diamond paintings that we've completed. I'm going to bring them over to Chris's and we're just going to go through them. It's not going to be like... Um, a post review or anything some of these you know are like some of the beginning ones I did were from Amazon and cheap and right you know I wouldn't have the links for them or anything it's just to show them right um, so that'll be fun to it's kind of overwhelming I mean I I'm not gonna bring the ones I have hanging on the wall at my house right but I'll bring a picture and you can yeah. insert the picture sure but um but it's kind of overwhelming in a good way to be like wow I did all of these you know yeah to see them all in one place and so we'll be doing that by the end of the year too yeah so yeah let us know what you guys want to see from us um, we do whip and chats that are usually about 25 to 35 minutes in there. Um, I know some people really like hour long whip and chats, but I just find that when people have really long whip and chats, I don't always have that amount of time to listen. And honestly, coming back to the same video doesn't always happen. Right. Because there's so many videos coming out on a daily basis from all these different creators that we, that's how we do our videos. Um, yeah, I think like 20 to 40 minutes is a sweet spot. Like, you know, we try to go between 20 and 30. Um, and we like to do, we're trying to have different types. We like have something called dilemma, um, this or that. We like to have serious topics. Um, sometimes it's just a catch-up whip and chat. We always do that first when we first get back together after not seeing each other for a couple weeks. Um, Our dad jokes. We are we are big dad joke fans, so we try to end videos with dad jokes. Um, so those are just some of, of our things we do on our channel. And if you guys, if there's anything you want us to talk about or you would like to see us do, please leave it in your in the comment section. And uh, we can try that, you know, some suggestions in the next year. Yeah, and I, I want to have more guest hosts. To get Not guest guests. hosts. Guests. Okay. You know, like we've had mom on a couple times. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be really cool to do a Valentine's Day video. Okay. With our guys. Good idea. Okay. You know, yes. so, um, yeah, I want to, you know, add more yeah more you know guess yes good idea that would be fun yeah wonder if people are tired of watching me work on the same camera i know right because i used to bring a canvas over to chris's and then i was like you know what why don't i leave colorful lady here and i'll work on her when i'm here but I wonder if people are like, uh... How long you been working on that? Right? Chris has <laughs> gone through three or four different canvases since. I started this in early September, I think. Wow. <laughs> well. But I enjoy it. it. You're getting yeah, it done. I enjoy it. This one is neat because it combines crystals, regular drills, and ABs. So. Yeah. Yeah. This is This is a fun one to work on. 
this one is fine. I did all the color, like the real colorful parts first uh -huh. because so much of it is literally just gray and black and white. Oh. But what I'm going to do is the word life mm -hmm. um, is what um, life's what you bake it. I'm going to do those in like crystals or Ooh. something. Yeah. I'm going to do a sparkler or crystal or something. What color are the words this, supposed the to be? The word, this word is black and okay. this word is white. Oh, okay. And then this one is white with, um, babies. Or... This is like a dark blue. So, um, it'll be dark blue in here and hmm. black with white. Ooh, so yeah. that should really pop. And this is blue in here with the whites are sparkler or the ABs. Mm. So the whites I've already done are, are ABs. So it's supposed to be blue, mm. solid blue. So yeah, just give it a little something. It's for my kitchen. Nice. So nice size though. They don't, DAC doesn't have many small ones like this. No. That's probably as small as they go. Right. Huh? Yeah, I've never seen one this small. What size is that one? This is a 30 by 38 centimeter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. I don't even have to think about it. And it's round, so I just, it's so quick. Yeah, you're going to finish so. that this week, probably. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, so um, at the time this video is going up, we are... Oh, so this is going to be our Thanksgiving video. Yeah, right before Thanksgiving. Yeah. Or actually, no, after. the day after Thanksgiving. The day after. Yes. So how was your Thanksgiving? Let us know. We are, I, my husband and I are planning on coming over. Yes. Um, for Thanksgiving dinner here. I'm not cooking. Yay. Your youngest daughter is cooking. Yes, and, and my middle. They're going to both do it together, oh, I guess. Nice. So that means we'll be having the babies while they cook. Okay. So, yeah, my cooking days are kind of over. I'm, I'm over it. Yeah. <laughs> but my house is bigger, so it's easier for them to do it here. And especially because you don't eat turkey. I mean, why I would you cook a turkey? Yeah, I, I've, I think I've done it once or twice since I've stopped you know, eating meat. Yeah. So it's, I really don't like having to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So I'll reach out to, to them and ask them what I should bring. Yeah. I'm making some cheesecake cause they always want that. And mm -hmm. right. I don't know, rice crispy treats or something. I don't remember what she wants me to do, but okay. So yeah. Cool. So hope your Thanksgiving was great and that you are shopping today, Black Friday shopping, and you're resting and going to have a nice long weekend. Yeah. I need one of those. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. It'll be nice to just chill out. And some families will be seeing each other for the first time in many couple years, some of them, yeah. you know, or more, you know. Right. And this is actually going to be our mom's first Christmas back in California. Thanksgiving. For, yeah. I mean, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yeah. And Christmas, but yeah. in like 20 years. So. Yeah. It's been uh, interesting. So it'll be nice. Yeah. It's very nice. It will. Um, it's so cute. Sydney loves mom. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. She wants mom to play with her all the time yeah. and pick her up. It's, it's when a, did this happen? Uh, like last week. Last wow. week. Uh, she came over and brought her little figurines and mom was playing with her. Uh -huh. Oh, that's done. Now she wants mom all the time. We were out taking mom to doctor appointments the other day. And mom was playing with her at the restaurant we stopped at. I saw your picture. Yeah. And Aww. yeah, it's so cute. So cute. Aww. So she likes Gigi. Maybe I have to do that and she'll like me. Yeah, the more you play with her and chase her and be silly, then yeah, yeah then she's good. It's just, it's hard to break the mold that she's in with me as she just wants nothing to do with me. Yeah, well, that's how she's with Jason, too. No, you know, I know. She liked him a lot when she was little, and then it's like there's time passes, and, you know, and yeah. then she's afraid of him. And Yeah. Um, Gianna just looks at him like, <laughs> who that? Who that? Who that big guy? <laughs> um but he loves Gianna. Oh my gosh. He's always like, where's the baby? 
<laughs> and he's not a baby person. Oh, really? He's not a kid person. So, yeah. Because he doesn't have any, and he's never, he doesn't dislike them. He's just never, you know, wanted them, really. been with around them too much. So oh, okay. now he's around the kids all the time. Mm -hmm. So he's a softie. Mm -hmm. But anyway, well, I mean, he takes care of Peppa like she's a little baby. So. Right? It's ridiculous. <laughs> It's big old 300 pound dude walking around with a little seven pound dog. It's a joke. And then when we would walk the dogs, I had all three pits, and then he would have the pe Peppa walking around. And the Dead. people were driving. Dead. <laughs> like, I have to take a picture of you guys from behind. Oh, Just... and, and I know he felt bad, and I kind of felt weird too. Like, this does not make you look good, homie. But. I know how to control the dogs, you know, right. like the dogs listen to me. Forget what everybody so. else thinks. But it's hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is too funny. My pits are my babies. You pit lover. I am. I'm a pit mama. Anyhow. All right, let's do our dad joke. Okay. We're doing our Thanksgiving dad joke. Here we go. Gobble, gobble. What side of the turkey has the most feathers the left <laughs> i don't know the outside ah, ah, better than the inside <laughs> uh what is a pumpkin's favorite sport squat yes <laughs> <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> all right all right i hope you had a great thanksgiving and uh Stay tuned for our next video and we'll, we'll be back. If you're new to our channel, catch up, Re watch our old ones. Yeah, we have some pretty funny ones. We actually have a, a funny playlist. I created a playlist of some of our funniest nice. videos with our dilemmas and stuff. Very cool. So if you want lighthearted, funny videos to mm -hmm. watch, you can check out our dilemma. Did you make a serious catalog too? No, not you yet. You should. Yeah, I okay. could. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna work on that too in the coming year. Yep. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye, crafters. Bye.